Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will change the way of displaying the like button with the question and we will also add an additional button to dislike the question. Okay, and we will use Bootstrap 5 buttons to do that. First, let's see how it looks right now. So here you can see that right now we have we are displaying every question into the card and you can see that below the question tag there is a like button and when you click on the like button it will count to the number of clicks for each like button okay and it counts the number of clicks for each button separately okay now we need to change the implementation of existing button of liking a question okay so to do that Let's open the Bootstrap 5 site and visit the pages component. So open the new tab and visit the Bootstrap 5. Okay, and inside this Bootstrap 5, let's visit the pages component. Okay, and you can find it here. So click the components and into the pages. You need to check the position pages. Okay, so we will display the like and dislike buttons like this. So here we will display our text that will be like and then just like this uh, red area red span tag we will count our likes count okay so just copy this okay and after copying this uh, paste it into the question detail component okay so here you can paste this after the paragraph tag and the existing button or and before the existing button tag so first uh, let's correct the indentation okay and along with indentation let's change the all classes to class name attributes okay because react will not support these classes so add class name okay copy this and remove everywhere paste it here okay and now remove this span tag which is pasting the unread messages because we don't need that okay so save this and now refresh your browser okay so when you refresh your browser of your application okay so when you refresh this you will see a button showing the inbox and 99 plus and so on okay now what we need to do we need to add change the button with like functionality okay so first uh, let me wrap the words okay now first change this button title so we can add a like here okay and now after adding the like count what you need to do you need to call this on click event into your exit new button okay so just copy this and call this on click event into this button so you can see on click this dot update like counter okay and now we need to add this like this is pen tag here and we just need to change the classes of this is pen tag okay so here you can see just copy this class okay and place uh, replace this with badge bg primary okay save this and now remove this existing is 99 plus is pending okay save this and now you can remove the button that we have here okay and now save this and refresh the browser okay so when you refresh the browser you will see that like it looks like now so when you click on the like you will see that uh, the number of likes are displaying into the badge okay so you can see that and you can do you can try this for other questions as well okay now what we need to what we need to do as the next thing that we need to implement a dislike button so we need to replicate some change, uh, similar changes here so here you can see that we have update like counter function so what we need to do we need to create a update dislike counter button as well so first uh, make this update dislike counter okay and here you need to add one more state into this question detail component and that will count the all dislikes okay so you can add dislike counter or dislike count okay and initialize it with zero and now here you can add change this like count to dislike count into the dislike counter function okay so just to change this okay so here you can see update dislike counter and this will update the state of dislike count whenever user clicks okay and now just like this uh, update like counter we need to bind this update dislike counter into the question detail component as well so just copy this and uh, replace the like counter with update dislike counter okay so just uh, change this function name okay so now we have binded this event as well okay and now as the next thing what you need to do just copy this button okay and paste it below and here just to change the way of uh, like here we are counting the likes and here we need to count the dislikes so just copy this update dislike counter function name 
okay and paste it into the second function second button sorry and here you need to change the dislike count okay and here as well so add dislike count here as well and now save this and when you refresh the browser you will see two buttons here one with like and one with dislike okay sorry first change this text as well dislike okay and now if you refresh the browser again you will see two different button like and dislike okay so when you click on the dislike you will see the dislike count and when you click on the likes then you will see the like counts okay but look at this uh, button display again that uh, it looks a bit ugly because there is no spacing between the like and dislike button okay so what we can do so we can provide some margin or we can add some custom style the like button so it will add some margin from the right so our dislike button will have some space okay or we can add some space between both the buttons to do that what we need to do let's there is a different way of adding style attribute into the react but first let's see how we can do this with regular HTML attribute okay so into this button the update like counter button or the like button add a style attribute okay in and into the style attribute what we can add margin right and then one em okay and save this and add a semicolon and save this now refresh your browser okay and when you refresh the browser you will see that nothing is appearing now and there is some error so let's inspect to the browser and here in the console tab you can see that the style props expects a mapping from style properties okay so here the react is considering the style as the props okay so here you can see the style props expect a mapping from style properties to values not a string so we must use a jsx syntax like we do for displaying dynamic content so we cannot provide this as a regular css string or regular html attribute style attribute okay so we need to change the way so what we can do here so here we need to remove this okay and here you can see the syntax how it is showing so just remove this column as well and into this curly brace you need to add another curly brace and here you can see margin right then spacing plus em so we at the place of spacing we need to add the value of by how much margin sorry what margin we need to provide so we can add margin right and here you can add see it's spacing plus em okay so add it's a one plus em okay so it will add the one em margin between both the buttons okay and now add this em into the string okay and let's format it better so sorry save this and now refresh the browser so when you refresh the browser now you will see that this error is not coming anymore and we are getting all the questions and there is a proper spacing between both like and dislike buttons okay and when you click on the like button now you will see that it is counting and when you click on the dislike button it is counting as well okay so try this with uh, more questions okay and here you can see that we are able to update like and discount like and dislike separately and that's all from this lecture what we did in this lecture that we implemented a dislike button as well and we add some spacing and we also learned how to provide style attributes into the jsx or into a react component okay in the next lecture we will add this like and dislike count attributes into our question model and then we will implement a rest api to dynamically update the like and dislike into the database using react component i mean when we click on the like button this will send a request to the rails api and it will update the like counter into the question model and when we click on the dislike this will again update the like dislike counter of the into the rails api okay so we will do that in next lecture till then let's give this lecture a try at your end and let me know if you have any issue or if you find uh, any doubt while learning this okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe